So in this video we are going to learn how to find the pH of a strong base. For example, find the pH of 0.1 molar solution of sodium hydroxide and the pH of 0.1 molar solution of calcium hydroxide. Let's start with the first one. Both these are strong bases, but they have a small difference when we are going to find the pH. A strong base means that it's completely dissociated in the solution. I mean water-based solutions. So let's dissociate the sodium hydroxide first. Now let's dissociate the calcium hydroxide. As you can see, at the first case you have only one OH-. At the second case you have two OH- due to the stoichiometry. At this point, be careful. In the case of strong bases, you have to consider the stoichiometry. In the first case, we have the concentration of sodium hydroxide, 0.1 molar, which means by stoichiometry, the concentration of OH- is 0.1 molar, after the complete dissociation of sodium hydroxide. But in the second case, again, the concentration of calcium hydroxide is 0.1 molar, but due to the stoichiometry, the concentration of OH- is 2 multiplied by 0.1 molar, which means it's 0.2 molar. You have to keep in mind these numbers because are needed to find the pH. So, uh, let's find the pH for sodium hydroxide first. We have the concentration of OH-, so we need the concentration of H plus ions. There are two methods. First one is directly by using the ionic product of water, which is give water concentration of H plus multiplied by concentration of OH minus equal to 10 to minus 14 at 25 degrees Celsius. On this way, you can find the concentration of H plus, which is 10 to minus 14 divided by 0.1 molar concentration of hydroxy ion that comes from the dissociation of sodium hydroxide. In this case, it's 10 to minus 13, which means that pH is equal to minus logarithm of H plus ions or minus logarithm of 10 to minus 13, which means it's 13, the pH of sodium hydroxide. Let's move now to find the pH of uh, calcium hydroxide, which is the same procedure, but you have to keep in mind that the concentration of OH- is 0.2 molar due to the stoichiometry. So, what do we have? Again, concentration of H plus is equal to 10 to minus 14 divided by 0.2 molar that comes from... Uh, the concentration of OH minus after the dissociation of calcium hydroxide. So here we have it. So it's 5 times 10 to minus 14. So pH is equal to 13.3. The second method to find the pH of a strong base is by first finding the pOH and you have to know the relation that pH plus pOH is equal to 14 which means that pH is equal to 14 minus pOH. You can find pOH for each concentration of OH minus that we had above and you can make the difference. You can select which way you want it's completely correct in both ways. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next video, peace.